Hey guys, you're here at the date podcast. Dot com and we're here with another episode with myself Zorik and Emma Pineda. Hi Emma. everyone. Well, Jersey Shore just started. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so happy it it's back. How was the first episode? I'm not really a fan. I haven't seen it just yet oh. because I had to like do stuff, but I'm watching it this weekend. That's the most important thing. You've been talking about Jersey Shore for like a few weeks. I know, and it's okay. I can wait a little longer, but it's bringing it's giving me life again. When was the last time it's that me meaning. was on? Was it like years ago, right? It was years ago. It wasn't it like the two thousands, maybe like two early two thousand tens teens. Um, I don't remember. Maybe I don't know. In college? No. Ah, I love it. GTO. Anyways, uh, everyone's life. everyone's talking about it. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, I need to watch th- the other episodes because maybe it is good. It is. Yeah. It's all on Hulu. Go oh. ahead and you know watch everything. Um, it's really funny seeing you know Sam, which is why she's not bad because it was the worst time of her life. Um, but all I can think of is like her saying, "Ron, stop." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I need to watch this. Okay. It's good. It's good. So today, um, Emma, have you had, I guess, a weird situation where you're swiping and swiping and you see a friend? On? Like you? Like me. Mm. What <laughs> do you do in that situation? Well, I always swipe right on you. Okay. I always swipe right on you. So mm-hmm. to me, that's a high five. Yes, I yeah. agree. Uh, for me, that's like, hey, uh, good to see you here. I hope mm-hmm. you were killing it. Um. But I, there's different I ways. I swipe, but I don't message you. Have you no, noticed that? I don't remember. Okay. I think it's been a while. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so we both, so Emma, Emma and I have the same strategy. Yes. But there's this article in the Metro. Uh, it's called, What to Do When You Match with Someone You Know on Tinder. And it's more of a story than anything. So the, the lady that wrote this, she met a guy in the past, and I guess they met at some bar or something, and she had a crush on the guy. Mm-hmm. But they were hanging out, and she did not uh, receive any type of vibe, or he didn't ask her out or anything like that. But later on, they see each other on Tinder. And, and, and they both swipe right. They both swipe okay. right. And so that's, that's one thing we can analyze, because... If you see somebody at a bar and you're interested, you better, as a man, just talk to her if you're interested. Mm-hmm. And and I think telling somebody you're interested on an app, you're kind of kind of hiding behind the app. Mm-hmm. Which, which I see is, where you're going with it. Yeah, which is okay. Um, I feel like men, we should be more bold, but it is hard Mm-hmm. In the moment, yes. because you're at the bar, you're you're chatting it up, and then maybe and there's a fear of rejection. Rejection sucks. Face like face to face rejection does suck, and then there's you know the the shame and guilt that's associated with it too. And so I definitely see this guy's point of view of making the connection through the app online because then it reduces that fear of rejection like tremendously. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a safety net, right? It is. Um, to where, and I know that in the article she said that she was annoyed about the fact that like he swiped right. Um, and again, it goes back to that fear of rejection because, you know, I think I've said this too, that I'm at a bar and most of the times I have like my defense on. Mm-hmm. And if you come up to me, I'm... Like, look who's at, this? like who are you? Like <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? Um are you you're interrupting this lovely time. Yeah. Um and it's so funny because I went out with my sister and um her boyfriend and one of our friends this past weekend and he always makes the comments of Emma, we're always out or the boy, my sister's boyfriend made the comment of like Emma, we're always out. You know, how are you still single? And I said, Because I said I'm here talking to you guys and if someone came up to me right now in the middle of the conversation, I would be annoyed. Mm-hmm. So of course it's easier for guys to want to date someone or try to like, court someone online than in person because, unfortunately, like, I just happen to be more mean in person. Not mean, but, you know, if I'm having fun, I don't want that to be interrupted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think from a guy's perspective, when, when you're at the bar and I guess you're with your, your, mm-hmm. your sister and brother-in-law, you see a group. So the, the hardest thing to do is approach, approach exactly. a group of people. Mm-hmm. And... 
and in your mind, there's just so many things that can go wrong. You know, mm-hmm. how does she, you know, am I dressed okay? Or what do I say? Is she going to tell me no? Um, or could one of those guys in that group be her boyfriend? Yeah. You know, even if, if not, because it could have, it, like, it could have looked like we were on a double date because she was, my sister was with her boyfriend and then we had our other friend who's a guy and was single, you know, and the way that we were sitting, it was kind of like two and two. So it did look very couple-ish and intimate when in, in reality it wasn't. It was I, just like a group of friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't, you can't tell. Um, you can watch, you can watch a group for a second and just kind of right. see body language and, and it's maybe, maybe you see the guy buying the girl a drink and, uh, you know, obviously that may, that might be that they're together, but you, you still never know. Right. It's, you never know. It's, it's so difficult. It, yeah. And what, what the article gets at is that Tinder can be a godsend because in a way it, it takes away that embarrassment of all that you're talking about, Emma, mm-hmm. of, of all the, of all the rejection and, but 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 he goes on to say that if if you if you match uh, this is Dr. Blumberg Max Blumberg but if you match with someone you already know the immediate response may be anger and feeling of why couldn't you just tell me how you felt see you can't you can't win no you can't and, and again it goes back to if you match like you, who you know the person that's getting angry has to come from, like has to be able to understand that this other person is acting out of like fear of rejection and anxiety um what if they're not comfortable coming up to you in person because they do have social anxiety um and this is a more comfortable way of doing it yeah so y- you never know and right a lot of people i think i think the majority are it's it's hard to talk to anybody, mm-hmm. right? It's kind of like public speaking, right? Yeah, and yeah. So I, I don't. I think I think he's right. Tinder can be a godsend, right? It, it, yeah, it can. And you can't win, fellas out there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no matter what we do, uh, if we go up to her, we get rejected. If we, if if we match on Tinder and we both match, and you you speak with her, she says, "Why didn't you talk to me in person?" Yeah, but isn't there like a way that a guy can go up to a girl? Like, there's there are ways that a guy can come up to me and I'm not feeling defensive. Yeah, there there's a couple ways, mm-hmm. and and it's it, it, I think I mentioned the like switch the book yes. uh, a few times, but first of all, it's a smile. So if you see a, a lady out there that you're interested in, mm-hmm. you smile at you make eye contact and you smile. If she smiles back, that's most that's usually a green light that she's approachable. Yes. But but it also says you shouldn't approach right away. No. So there should be more uh, more smiling, maybe mm-hmm. like a couple couple of um, passes. Yes. And then after that, once she feels comfortable and you guys kind of are in the same area, then then you can try. Gosh, it's a lot of work, isn't it? As a man, well, as a man, <laughs> all you guys have to do is sit there and smile at us. <laughs> but so. we're also like going through our own analyzing yeah. in those situations where it's like, oh my gosh, is he passing because he wants to talk to me? Or is he passing us by because he likes my friend? Is he actually making eye contact with me and smiling at me? Or is he smiling at a friend? Um, like what is going, like what's going on right now? Yeah. And the moral of this story, I think he says this, it's either if you're interested, swipe right. Yeah. If you're not, you know, swipe left. And if you swipe right and you're both a match, you know, and if this is someone that you've been crushing on and wanting to be with for a while, then again, just be okay. You, you swiped right. You matched, you got what you wanted. Like, that's it. Yeah. And, and also you can think about, well, the person was harboring some kind of feelings. Like, they should just get over it. Like you said, just if, if yeah. you guys match. Uh, I would not mention the past. <laughs> just go go forward with it. Exactly. Right. Um, yeah. You match. You're going to go on a date. You're going to try to see what this could be. Mm-hmm. You're getting the experience that you wanted. It's just not the way that you romanticize it in your head. And that is okay. That is. Mm -hmm. And Emma has spoken. Hi, everyone. This is Emma. I've recently found a dating app I've enjoyed using, Bobsy. Simply, it's video speed dating. Bobsy gives me the ability to meet six guys through live video. At the end of each session, I pick either C for like, 
or bot for dislike. When we both like each other, we continue the connection over chat messaging. Check it out today at bopsy.com. How many dates until you take a guy to your house? <sighs> oh, man. Are you... <laughs> is it a tough, tough answer? Yeah, because I like to wait. I'm very old school, remember? I'm an, I'm an old school gal. How long do you have to wait? Like a um, month? A few no, dates? not a month. I think that about, I'll say like between like five to 10 dates, just depending on how well those dates are going. Okay. Five mm-hmm. to 10 dates. So when he comes over, mm-hmm. um, my apartment is clean. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it's already like automatically clean. My my apartment is clean. Um, I have, I'll like put essential oils on or oh use my um, my spray, whatever it is. Your spritz. I have yeah. I have my Glade spray. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> that goes on to this uh, next article. Hide these things before you bring a date home for the first time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, uh, it's, it's these are some of these are bad, y'all. Like I don't even know how they got on here. I it's, don't. It's written by Nicole Lynn Peace, <laughs> and it's from the Moneyish website. So, the headline says: Spotting a pregnancy test in the trash or seeing pictures of an ex will send a date running for the door. And new survey warns. Okay. First of all, this goes back to the whole, like, don't have pictures of women on your, uh, like, on your, as part of your profile pictures. And so, I get it. Maybe it was a beautiful picture. Maybe y'all were in some, um, having this amazing experience together. It's not a good look. No. Like, what is, what is your goal of keeping that picture there when you have a new, like, when you, when you're on a date? What's, what's your goal? The goal is, well, I don't know if there's a goal, but I think he's, or the person is just kind of holding on to uh, some Are you lazy and just don't feel like organizing? Well, men are, uh, statistically, (laughs) and maybe I'm, uh, maybe I am, and maybe I've done that before, but, (laughs) but, but, but it says here, first of all, (laughs) take out the trash before you bring anyone home. That's fair. Unless you just took out the trash the night before. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, I'm a smell person. Mm-hmm. And even on the first date, and we've talked about smell before, mm-hmm. but uh, I think I think both people should smell at least clean and uh, have, you know, smell fresh. Agreed. Yeah, because yes. it's for the people around you. It's for your date. Uh, come on, people. <laughs> so and then again, like just you know, taking care of yourself, taking care of your hygiene. Yeah, shows that you care about yourself. <laughs> Definitely. So <laughs> what it says here is they did a survey and it says spotting a pregnancy test in the garbage was the biggest turnoff. OK, I can't I can't even with that one. I what, can't. Well, hold on. But for single ladies, that's that's the biggest turnoff. Um, so um, if Why, you're a man. <laughs> wait, so no matter what gender you are. If you're bringing someone of the opposites, you know, or you're bringing a date home, what makes you think it's a good idea to have a pregnancy test in your trash? Like, I'm just trying to think of this logistically. Like, I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. If you're on a date, like, why would you not think about cleaning that up? Maybe you're holding on to memories. I don't know. That is dumb. (laughs) (laughs) Dumb. Maybe it's framed. No, that's no, dumb. No. Um, <laughs> no. But that's, no. A, that's a pretty big turnoff. I think yeah. another big turnoff, not on the list here, is a dead body. I mean, if I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw a body. If I saw, if I saw a finger or something just laying on the floor, I'd be like, what the hell? Um, or... <laughs> Or for your for your um, your PETA fans, they're tortured animals. No, I'm a big animal. Wait, fan. like, like, are you talking about like trophies? Um, like no, deer heads? no. This this is like statistic <laughs> people that are just. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, run, I, digre- I digress. Run, <laughs> run as fast as you can. Yeah, um, and 
so so we both agree pregnancy tests are not good no. so Mm-mm. so guys gals if you if you took one recently uh, which which is a beautiful thing right but if you're going on another date <laughs> um <laughs> if you're going on another date just throw it away please um which is in in your trash bin outside of your apartment what is that the dumpster not just your trash <laughs> that's, that's that's funny so the the it was done by the porch this this uh, survey yes. which connects people with home contractors and pulled 993 singles on their first date home impressions uh, survey. So that's where we got this. Yeah, I like the other things that they have is like dirty dishes, which is true, um, unless they're in the dishwasher, because that means do that, but the dishwasher's gonna wash them. Mm-hmm. Um, dirty pets is another thing. Like if you have dogs, like that is a turn off for me, it's when the, the house smells like dogs. Yeah. I, it goes back to the smell, like I don't, I don't like that. You can you can kind of go further and say so. Uh, for me, dogs are my kids. Right. So if they're not, you're not taking care of your dogs, then you know that partner might have issues with taking mm-hmm. care of kids because I think it's the same thing. We treat our pets just like our family members, mm-hmm. and so that that's huge. Uh, one thing it said is also uh, the dogs in the crate. So I guess hide your crates or dirty crates. Yeah, dirty crates. I would say yeah. dirty crates. Yeah, dirty crates. Having a mattress laying directly on the <laughs> on the floor. Mm. Um, so that's lazy too. I I think I can see a college guy doing that. But it's yeah, that's kind of tacky. Yeah. It is tacky. I mean, bed frames are not that expensive. Mm-hmm. Get a bed frame. Yeah. You don't need to have a bed board. Just get a bed frame. Yeah. A, a bed frame and uh, maybe an interior designer or decorator because they're not that ex- well maybe they are but like have your mom decorate it for you <laughs> yeah definitely definitely so so yeah there's a list of all these turn offs mm-hmm. turn on for men turn ons for men and turn offs for women um, yeah smell yep smell is a big turn on for women so. Yes. As and a for man. men, I mean, they both—they're both number one for for men and women. Mm-hmm. So, as as a man, how do I make my my place smell great? Um, definitely go to Bath and Body Works and get yourself some candles. But candles, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You, you got to keep buying candles, <laughs> right? Is there some way that it's just like always? I think that like if you are using cleaning products, that just like naturally adds to the air and just makes it smell clean. I guess for me, yeah, you got to clean at least once a week if you're dating. Definitely. Yes, or more. <laughs> or more. <laughs> Do you have time to clean more than once a week? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm not doing like a deep clean. Like I'll do a deep clean once a week and then I'll do my superficial cleaning like Two or three times a week. Yeah. So when you get home, you just kind of, you kind of just clean a couple things. Yeah, I'll just like tidy up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's just a helpful habit to have. Yeah. I guess, I guess guys, let's just, let's start cleaning. All right. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. So there were a lot of other turn ons and, and turn offs. Um, Just, just quickly, um, turn ons for men, um, books. You love someone Mm -hmm. that, that, that reads or it gives you the impression that they read. It looks like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when you pull a, pull a book out, there's there's so much dust. It's or there's candy inside. <laughs> it's hollow. It's, it's a hollow it's book. Not, it's not real, guys. <laughs> um, there's a dog. Um, a lot of people are dog people. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a video game console, and this is these are turn-ons for men. Um, oh, but not all no. of us like video games. No. Um, and and there's there's lots for women, so. I like how evidence of your political affiliation um, can be a turn off or turn on depending on yeah on, you, you <laughs> on know, who the affiliation is with. You know what that means? Is like you can't say anything. <laughs> so just wait till wait till it's really really serious to really. And hash then that up. say I'm a Democrat or a Republican. And then <laughs> brace for impact because <laughs> it's either 50 50, right? So, but there's a, a ton of turn offs. Yes. Um, 
again. I oh. like how the the top for uh, for the top t- turn off for women is there's a pregnancy test in the trash, and the top turn off for men is their roommate is their ex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here here's my things. If if you've just broken up with somebody and you still live with them, uh, you should wait. Yes. Right. Yep. Just wait yes. until you, you, you take care of that. Or maybe, you know, in some circumstances, you're in a long-term lease or you bought a house together or something, but it's just not a good look. There's a, it means one thing is there's baggage. And yes. maybe not necessarily, but there is some connection or a link between your ex. And who stuff. knows? Like, what if the other person's still in love with you and you're bringing home these states just to be vengeful? Um, you're just using this person, so don't do that either. Yeah. That doesn't help. Um, a couple more interesting things. Uh, it, it said that uh, 60, 67% of people look at someone's home and dating them to gauge their compatibility. So we're going, we're going through this list of, mm-hmm. of turn-offs and turn-ons. So maybe take a look at it, definitely, because it's a big deal. It's a big deal for me, and I don't know how you feel about you know, how, how a man's home is, but um, you probably feel the same way. That's yeah. A, it's, a, it's a big deal. If my apartment is clean, your apartment should be clean, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's it, Emma. That's all yes. today. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any any new news or anything to talk about? Dating? No. Anything to update us on? Not yet. No. Any Instagram still, things? Still you just wanna, swiping. Still swiping? Yeah, I do have an Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's, <laughs> oh, it's underscore Emma P. <laughs> okay. It's, that's not, that's part of the actual. I-T-S underscore E-M-M-A-P. Gotcha. Okay. I hope everyone got that. Yes. And my name is Zorixia and my Instagram name is Zorixia <laughs> and my, and my Twitter's the same too. So reach me there and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks.